G'day Guardians, Rogi here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get your hands on the Ascended Bounty Hunter Triumph. So today, the On The Trail event is taking place in the Fluorescent Canal. To begin that, head over to the marker on the map right there. You can see I'm hovering over myself, it's kind of in the north uh, region of Fluorescent Canal, and you'll see the Deep Sight Resonance Bubble. Activating that, you'll find a Scorn Corpse just behind you that you can investigate. A Blood Trail similar to those of the Lua Hunts in Season of the Hunt will appear and you could start making your way over. Following them will take you to the entrance of the Queen's Bailey. Doing so will allow you to investigate another trail which will start the On The Trail buff. You can see it's just there to my right. Heading over will allow us to investigate the debris. Doing so with anyone in your fire team will activate it for them as well. You can see I've got the On The Trail buff just to the left hand side of my screen. So as we begin to sparrow into the Queen's Bailey, something that some of you may be familiar with if you have been doing some of the uh, Deep Sight Resonant Level 3 chess farming, you're probably very familiar with this area as we make our way through we continue to follow that blood trail straight into the castle keep there i'm trying to show a waypoint on the map but unfortunately our markers are removed once we have entered the queen's bailey this one isn't too far of a walk to fight the mini boss the other two in miasma and quagmire are a much further stroll into some of the storyline areas you'll see a large blood trail on the ground there which will of course spawn the hive titan easy enough to take down with the three of us crush the ghost which will go ahead and reveal the loot. Opening up that chest here, you can see I am about to proc the Triumph as I have already completed the Miasma and the Quagmire versions of this, but I will be showing you where those lie in the video as well. Going across to the secrets, we can unlock the Ascended Bounty Hunter Triumph. So very happy with that one, but let's go ahead and have a look at what we do should this be spawning in the Miasma. When you're coming into the Miasma Patrol Zone from the Quagmire, you want to turn directly right and you'll see the the first deep sight resonance orb and the scorn corpse to investigate once again we have that blood trail beginning to appear allowing us to easily follow it to the next point it's going to take us to the back end of the miasma patrol zone you don't actually have to go ahead and activate each of these deep sight resonances each time you can see i'm not able to investigate that scorn corpse because i've already kind of started this mini event it's going to take you up until the entrance of the big cave systems you can see just on our right there the trail ends there going forward moving down into the witch's echo we continue to follow the blood trail it is about a two to three minute walk down deep into this cave system there are quite a few deep sight resonances along the way so if you're still after some uh throne world xp and throne world loot make sure to do them on your way there you can see i got the chest piece along the way keep an eye out for those blood trails as it is a very narrow cave system easy to get lost in once we get to that second uh blood trail here we can see we've got the hive warlock in front of us easy enough to take down in a one-on-one -on -one. these bosses really don't pose any threat Take out the ghost, the chest will spawn, we can tick off another box in that triumph. Last but not least, we have the Miasma Patrol Zone version of the On The Trail. Now, for this one, unfortunately, I did go ahead and get it and forgot to record. So you'll just have to take my word, this is where everything spawns. So when it is Miasma's turn uh, to be the On The Trail receiver for the day, make sure you come over to the area just before entering the fluorescent canal and you'll see the deep sight resonance. Make your way over to the right side of the castle keep and you'll be able to investigate the debris. Once doing so, you will have that on the trail debuff, which allows you to follow the blood trails all the way to the last and final hive guardian, the hunter acolyte this is a bit of a trek we're going to have to be walking quite a distance so just make sure you're keeping an eye on that blood trail it's not very difficult to miss uh, especially this as it is a very linear one-way path there are going to be two deep sight resonances we need to activate to make our way through the first one being here activating that will create the jumps that we need to go ahead and connect to the platforms that we need to jump on there's the word i was looking for head all the way up the top here that very slowly rocking platform continue to make our way across easy to do and then we jump down into the next section there now the next deep site resonance we get is just to our right here it's in this little nook right there you will have another one 
previous to this. That one is just for a chest, so you can ignore it um, if you're in a hurry. But of course, if you do need the extra Throne World XP, make sure to go ahead and do that. Continue along the mile jumping puzzle to that final deep sight resonance here and this is where the boss should spawn again didn't get a chance to record that one but that's it you've killed all three bosses you've got all three chests and you now have yourself the ascended bounty triumph thanks for watching guardians